Hey there guys, this is Prime Minister Views here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have a special video for you guys today as today I want this to be the top rarest releases ever to be released by Studio Series. And what do I mean by this? Well, we all know that there's been a lot of figures as in shelf formers that always, you know, stock up the place and then there's been a lot of figures that are super super rare and they are hard to find and you only ever find them once or even none at all. Now I know we have all experienced this and if you haven't yet uh you're lucky you are super super lucky but yeah i want this video to be you know the top rarest releases ever to be released by studio series note that these are in no particular order but i'm just gonna name out a few because if not then again we are gonna be here for like an hour an hour and a half maybe two hours maybe so but i'm only gonna name out a few that were rare to me so here we go taking a look at our first one here we do have the studio series transformers 2007 autobot ironhide now i know dang well that you guys had a hard time trying to find this guy and if you haven't then man you were so lucky back in the day when i tell you that this figure was hard to find this figure was hard to find for me i only ever found them once at target and that was it still to this day i have not seen another single package of ironhide and honestly that just shocks me i've seen a lot of people having trouble finding this guy and yes i can see why this guy was hard to find this guy is amazing this guy is the best Ironhide to me that we have ever gotten and honestly better than that masterpiece Ironhide in my opinion. But yeah I even know people to this day that still don't have that Ironhide and the only reason that they have them now is because of the anniversary pack the 2007 movie um, anniversary pack man. Other than that they just never found this guy and again only the lucky people were able to find this Ironhide. This Ironhide was not a shelf former at all. It was just a quick and go, man. If you guys saw that Ironhide but you didn't have the money, best believe that you guys were not able to see him again. Again, this Ironhide is an amazing Studio Series figure and, and really, really well done. Uh, they went out the park with this figure. But, man, I just wish they would re-release this guy. Coming in here at our next figure here, we do have the Studio Series number 38 Transformers, the Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime. Now I know dang well that this figure was hard to find for most of you guys because you cannot tell me there is no way that you guys didn't have trouble finding this guy. This guy for me was super duper duper hard to find and again I only ever found him once and that was at Walmart and that was it. I never saw this guy again. This guy was not a shelf former. This guy was again another quick and go because people loved this design and they wanted him like that. Best believe that this guy was super duper hard to find back in the time and you either had to be in the morning at the store or just ask if there was any at the stock in the back and they would probably always tell you no but this guy was super duper hard to find because again people love this figure people love the design and I can't blame them studio series went out their way at creating this figure and man honestly to this day one of the best Voyager Optimus Prime we've ever gotten but I would believe if you told me that that one day when you had no hope and you found him and you were so excited that you couldn't hold in your excitement, trust me, that was me. I, he was in the back for me. He was like hidden all the way in the back. But again, this figure does look amazing. And again, one of the rarest releases ever by Studio Series. I just hope the Rise of the Beast one isn't as rare as this one, man, because I already know that that thing's going to sell. Take a look here at our next rare release here we do have the Studio Series Jetfire from Revenge of the Fallen. Now this one can be a little bit in the middle because I've seen a lot of people have no trouble at all trying to find this Jetfire and I've seen people struggling trying to find this Jetfire. And for the people who didn't have trouble finding Jetfire I bet you had a great time and I feel so bad for all the people who had trouble and that was me. I was one of those people who had trouble trying to find this guy and believe it or not I don't have this guy because of how hard he was for me to try and find him. And yes, I could buy him online, but look at the price. I am not a hundred, over a hundred dollars for this Jetfire. And yes, I know he may be worth it and I completely understand, but over a hundred for this Jetfire, like, dude, I'm telling you, he was hard to find for me. And again, I can see why. This figure looks amazing. This figure looks superior than his previous Jetfire version, man, back in Revenge of the Fallen. Um, this figure is honestly one of the best Jet Fires we've ever gotten. The detail looks amazing, the transformation looks amazing, and yes he doesn't have that much posability, but this Jet Fire is just meant to convert into the Jet Fire Optimus Prime. That's what he's meant to do, and man, 
I do wish I had this jet fire, but hey, you may never know. But again, back to how rare this guy was. This guy was super duper duper rare. This guy came out with the Dark of the Moon Megatron. And best believe that the Dark of the Moon Megatron was not a rare release. He was a shell former for a while. This jet fire was super duper hard to find. But again, people did have a lot of trouble trying to find this guy and I completely understand. And if you do have this jet fire, please let me know how he is, man. Because so far he looks great and I do wish I was able to find this guy back in the day. Now for our next figure here, we do have the Studio Series The Bumblebee Movie Decepticon Dropkick. Now, people had such a hard time trying to find this guy because of how vast of an improvement he was from that helicopter dropkick. When I tell you that people wanted this guy right away when Studio Series showed us this man, let me tell you that people wanted this guy. People really wanted this guy day one and I don't blame them at all. This figure is a hundred times better than the helicopter dropkick and I know that that helicopter dropkick was a shell former for such a long time to the point where people were disgusted by that figure, where people were destroying that figure, and I don't blame them. I can see why all the hate was there for that dropkick, but when this dropkick was shown to us, it is one of the rarest uh, figures to ever be released by Studio Series. Everybody wanted this figure because of how cool he looked. His robot mode looked phenomenal. His alternate mode looked phenomenal as well. Basically, this figure is phenomenal to this day. The detail on that figure is super amazing and it is a hundred times better than the helicopter dropkick and maybe one day we'll get a triple changer for dropkick but until then this is the best dropkick out of the two this guy was super duper hard to find people were hiding him in the back people were hiding him behind other figures people were trying to do their best to try and hide these figures so that way that way when they came back uh, the figure will still be there and let me tell you i was one of those people that found the figures hiding behind something else and yes, I'm sorry if you were the person that, you know, hit a figure and, and you know, you came back and it was gone. Trust me, I did it for one figure and uh, it sucked. But other than that, man, this figure is honestly amazing to this day. Studio Series did a fantastic job with this guy, but it's just the fact that he was super rare to find that makes this one of the hardest figures ever to be found. Um, right, honestly, on par with that Optimus Prime. Coming in here at our final figure here, we do have the Transformers Age of Extinction Helicopter Mode Drift. Now, to me, I never found this guy. To me, I didn't even know that this guy released because that's how rare he was. I didn't even know that this figure even existed. This is one of the rarest releases for me that I have ever seen. Again, I never knew that this guy existed. I never even knew that this guy was a thing because of how rare he was and I never found him at all. Heck, I'm pretty sure a lot of people weren't able to find this guy because of how rare he was. Now, I, I don't know if that was a good thing, I don't know if that was a bad thing, but I never found this Age of Extinction uh, drift, and that honestly makes me so, like, sad. Apparently, he was a re retool of that uh, helicopter mode dropkick, and yes, I, I couldn't even tell at all. That's how good of a job Studio Series did. But again, I never found this guy, and it honestly shocks me. That figure looks really, really good. Don't get me wrong, it does look really, really good. The detail looks great, uh, but again, I, I just never found this guy. Again, the detail on the figure looks superb. It looks amazing, and honestly, maybe one of the best drifts we have ever gotten from Studio Series, man. Wow. But again, I never found this guy, and maybe a lot of you guys did, but to me, I never found this guy, and he is one of the rarest, rarest figures for me to be ever released by Studio Series. An honorable mention will go to Long Haul, as people did have a hard time trying to find that figure, and that honestly shocked me because I never had a hard time at all, but since people had a hard time trying to find them, I will put him in the honorable mention list because I feel like he deserves it. But alrighty guys, I think that's going to do it here for me. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that way you guys don't miss a single upload. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And let me know down in the comments below, what are your rarest releases by Studio Series that you were able to find at the very last second or that you weren't able to find? This has been Primus Reviews and that has been the rarest releases by Studio Series. Well, in my opinion, remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So I'll make sure to see you guys on the next one.